I truly mean what I'm about to say is not a cliche. Does anybody unworthy of it is me? I appreciate it and love you. And I want to say this. You know, I told somebody the other day that I believe that we should always take care of the man of God, and that's not meaning for myself. I believe that's right. And I believe I've proven that before. But I want to thank God for each and every one of you. Because you've heard me say this, without good people and godly people, we can't do it. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say I appreciate it and thank you this morning for it. I want to give you just a just a call. I say this often too that I will never preach anything to you that does not first touch me first. And I went out yesterday evening and because at my house it's very hard to find a peaceful spot. Yeah. <laughs> you got kids running everywhere. If you ain't got kids running, you got joy running everywhere. And then if that ain't enough, you, you got Tucker running everywhere. And then you go out in the yard and you got horses running everywhere. So I went out yesterday evening and I built me a fire. I stood around that fire for a few minutes. Can I be honest with you? Asking God some questions. <coughs> Weary from the journey. You say you a little odd. Every preacher I ever know gets up and he tells us about how good and how exciting the Christian life is, and it is. But did you hear people's heart this morning is hurting? And issues. Yeah. Amen. And it's okay to question why. Amen. I've talked to several people this week that's called and said, I'm afraid of circumstances that I have coming up. You know what I told him, Brother Ronnie? That's fine. But just know he has it in control. Yeah. Amen. That's our human nature. Right. I would be wrong. To stand before them or to say that all your faith is weak. You just not trusting in God. But ultimately know he has everything in control. And I thought about this passage of scripture as I stood there. Mackenzie came by and as a kid, even now I love to build fires. I cleared a whole acre of building fires. <laughs> Fixing to burn some more this week, on the guy. Scared Miss Sherry, I burned a whole trailer down one time. <laughs> whole fire department come out and I said, hey boys, y'all bring your hot dogs? <laughs> well, as I stood there, Mackie was intrigued with that fire. And she said, Daddy, can I throw this bottle on that fire? And I said, sure, let's, let's watch it burn. And I watch that plastic bottle be consumed and burnt to nothing, Brother Ronnie. Yeah. For a moment, I thought about this. There is coming a day when our troubles, our trials, our tribulations, and all sleep, but it's going to burn it. Yeah. Amen. And it will be consumed by the fire, and all we'll do is sit around and rejoice. But I'm not going to be long, I promise you. He's over there cooking our ham again, young guy. He said, they told me you said I had to cook this, but I didn't know I had to miss church. I said, don't worry about it, just don't burn our meal. <laughs> he said, Jonathan, if I mess it up, you ain't going to see me here. He said, I'll be gone. I said, no, it'll be good. By the way, he's not missing it. He's, he's too Oh, no, yeah, he told Brother Ronnie, there's only where you want to set me up. The only stipulation I have is if I can't connect to your Wi-Fi, I'm going to cook this stuff where I want to cook it. I guess he's hooked up this morning. He hooked up. But I thought about this passage of Scripture because...
The most you ever hear the 23rd Psalm is when at a funeral. And that's fine. I'm not going to take the, for the sake of time this morning in chapter 22, but David is at the end of his road. At the point in his mind, God, even God has forsaken him in 22. We come to chapter 23. I'm glad this morning that God reminded me of this. Says the Lord. The Lord is two shepherds. Uh, He's a personal God. Yeah. I shall not fall. Amen. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I want to say right there that the storm can be raging. God will make you lie down and read the passage. Amen. <laughs> Your circumstances may be the very reason why you rest a little while. He leadeth me beside the still waters. I like this. He He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. But here's what he said right here. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear the weak. For thou art with me by rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with all my cup. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now what I'm telling you is we can quote this from, from a child... We can watch television programs at a graveside, and that's what they're putting, that's what they're reading, and that gives us comfort in those times of troubles and tribulations. But as Christians, we need to be reminded that He is our God. And He has everything that we need. Good day, Dr. David. Or I don't feel. Like I'm a Christian. Come to that. But I'm glad that there are times when we do not have the answers. Timmy, when the burdens of life are upon us so heavy that we don't know where to turn.
He is Alpha. And the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. You know what, Shane, when you can't remember all that, just remember, He is. Right. It covers all of it. He is everything that I need. Amen. So whatever you need this morning, God can supply. When the preacher don't know what you need, when your wife don't know what you need, when my house dog don't even know what I need, he knows what we need. Lord. Amen. He'll supply what we need. I'm glad that he is everything that we need. Even when in our minds sometimes we let circumstances get us down. You know, a lot of times, most times, people just don't get real. <clears throat> I'm like that a lot of times. They say, how are you doing? Anything you need. No, I ain't nothing I need. Well, how are you doing? I I'm doing good. A lot of times, Brother Ronnie, I'll be in my truck, <coughs> just being God. And I need to touch. You know why? Because there are times, Brother Charlie, when you want to comfort me, but you can't. There are times when I want to comfort joy, but I can't. I to remind you this morning that he can. Amen. Don't get too busy in your minds trying to work out your problems. Before you bring it to God, know that He is your shepherd. Amen. We have a green pasture. Let God give us the strength that we need. This morning, if you just need help from God, you need to be saved. The altars are open. Your roast ain't burning, so let's not worry about that. Now, heat, if you burn the spaghetti, that's wrong. Y'all come this morning if you need to.